Hey chickies, okay today we are doing a snowflakes and waterfall mani using the new OPI Hello Kitty collection. Uh, now I forgot to mention in my previous video that this collection is not currently available for sale anywhere except for Australia. It is available at David Jones stores and Maya stores. I don't even think you can find it online anywhere as far as I can ascertain from all of my various Google searches this collection is going to be available for the rest of the world in January it's very early January somewhere around the 6th I believe so this is really unusual for me because I have never ever received a pre-release collection of nail polish from a major company so I was really excited about that it was sent to me by Coty PR Australia so um, yeah, I'm kind of stoked that I get to play with these before everybody else. I know it seems a little braggy, but this has literally never happened before. Like, never. Anyway, let's get into it. I really hope you like it. I'm sorry if I was too braggy. <laughs> so to start with, I've painted my accent nail or my ring finger nail with OPI's Alpine Snow, which is obviously not part of the Hello Kitty collection. I got that from HB Beauty Bar. Now. For the Hello Kitty collection polishes, I'm using the black, which is Never Have Too Many Friends. And then also a light pink, which is called Small Plus Cute Equals Love. It's so pretty. It's a really lovely cream. And then the glitter polish is called Charming and Sugar. This is really pretty. The brush I'm using today is my Nail Series 705, which is a long liner brush. So starting with the ring finger nail, we're going to do the waterfall design. You've seen me do this quite a number of times. We're starting with the light pink colour and using the long liner brush and starting at the cuticle line, you're going to drag your brush down towards the tip of your nail. You're only going to pretty much go about half to, th to two thirds of the way down. You're not going to actually go all the way to the tip of your nail. So we're starting, as I said before, with the pink and then we're going to come in with the black uh, and you're going to put the black um, in between where you put the pink and then after the black is done you're then going to come in with the glitter polish and you're just going to put it wherever you like really <laughs> like you're going to fill in the gaps obviously because you don't want any gaps especially towards the around where your cuticle line is uh, and what you might also do is come back in with some more of the lighter pink or with some more of the black depending on what you want to stand out the most like I just love this design, not only because it's a really simple one to do, but it also gives you pretty striking results every time you do it, like with whatever colour combination that you're using. It's just, it, I don't think I've ever had one that's turned out badly, if I do say so myself. <laughs> So once you've finished your waterfall design, it's time to move on to the middle nail and we're going to be using these gorgeous little snowflake vinyls from Snail Vinyls. They are so easy to use. Make sure that you put a coat of Sesh Feet or something similar to that over your base colour before placing any stickers on your nail. That's incredibly important. So I'm going to be using the glittery polish from the Hello Kitty collection, which again was charming and sugar. And I'm just using the tip of a small... Um, makeup brush to apply that glitter because I don't want it to be super chunky I just want to get like lots of glitter on it though so now once you've completed your sponging you want to take off that vinyl straight away you do not want to wait for the polish to dry it's very important because I'm going to be doing a couple of other snowflakes using the same nail vinyls, I'm going to add a coat of Sesh Feet over this nail now and let that dry for at least 15 minutes before moving on and adding some more snowflakes. But we just want to get that top coat over there now so that we have time for it to dry before we will move on to the next step. And whilst we're waiting for the middle nail to dry, it's the perfect time to go ahead and top coat the waterfall nail. I'm just using Sesh Feet as per usual. So now we've waited at least 15 minutes for this nail to dry before adding the nail vinyls again and uh, what I'm doing is adding a little bit of white alpine snow first, being, I'm being really quick with this by the way, uh, and then adding over the top of that the light pink that we used initially. Um, the reason for that is I wasn't sure that the light pink would show up just by itself and that's why I did the white first. 
Now, as you can see, I was a little overzealous with my sponging, so I got it on the black, but because I've got a couple of coats of set feet on this nail already, it's not a problem to use my non-acetone remover and my Royal Majestic brush to clean that up off the surface of the black nail. So I was pretty pleased with the way that turned out, because that could have been disastrous. <laughs> And finally, it is time to add yet another top coat to this nail. Yes, I of course am using Sesh Feet again, but it didn't turn out super thick, so I was really pleased. And that's it for this one. I really hope you like it. I think it's probably one of my favourite ones I've done so far this Christmas holiday season. So anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, Tikis. Oh, and thank you for subscribing, and thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.